Hello and welcome to this Paleux Daylight Visualizer tutorial. In this video, I will present the different windows and doors that can be added to the model. These are separated into three categories. Roof products, facade products, and inner wall openings. Let's start by adding roof windows to our model. Depending on which roof type you have, you'll be given different roof window options. If you've added a ceiling to your model, instead of roof windows, you'll be given the option to add light shafts to your model. In this case, I have a sloped roof with no inner ceiling, so these are the relevant products I can choose from. I will add my first roof product to the model by first selecting the type, then the size, and then the lining properties, which refer to the geometry of the wall around the window opening. I'll be able to show you that better in the section view after I insert the roof product into the model. If a window product appears red after inserting it into the model, then there's some error in the model geometry. In this case, the problem is that I've placed the window on the ridge line between the two roof slopes. If I move it, the window appears green. I can reposition the window by dragging it across the floor plan view. Notice how it snaps to the grid lines. I can also edit some of the window settings by the menu below the floor plan view. Now I will add a few more roof windows. So now I've finished placing roof windows into the model. There are two ways to edit windows that are in the model. I can either double click on them and I will get the same dialog box to choose a different type of window. Or I can select them in this menu below the floor plan view and click Edit Selected and I will get the same options. For each roof window in the model, I can select the distance of the side wall, the distance of the bottom wall, and the height above the floor. This value will just change the position of the window across the roof slope. Now that I'm done placing roof windows, I will move on to add some facade products to the model. I'm given a selection of windows and doors to choose from. The procedure to insert them to the model is the same as with the roof windows. After I've inserted a window into the model, I can adjust its position by dragging it across either of the external walls. If it appears red, then that's an indication of an error. I can also reposition the window by editing the values in the menu below the floor plan view. Here I'm adjusting the distance of the sidewall, and here I'm adjusting the height above the floor, which you can see in the section view. So now I've added all my windows and doors, and I'm going to move on to add some inner wall openings. Inner wall openings are not selected from a menu, they are automatically added to the model as soon as I move to this tab. From here, I can drag the inner wall opening to another position on any of the inner walls in the building, and I can also edit some of its properties in the menu below the floor plan view. To add another inner wall opening, I simply need to click on the tab again, and then reposition it. I followed the same procedure to add a few more inner wall openings, and now my model is ready. Thank you for watching this Velux Daylight Visualizer tutorial.